After walking for the best part of an hour and starting to feel a little hungry, he thought that maybe that was enough exploration for one day and would be a good idea to turn back. However, just at that moment, a small dot appeared in the distance and he narrowed his eyes to try to see what it was. Bruno remembered a book he had read in which a man was lost in the desert and because he hadn't had any food or water for several days, had started to imagine that he saw wonderful restaurants and enormous fountains, but when he tried to eat or drink from them, they disappeared into nothingness, just handfuls of sun. He wondered whether that was what was happening to him now. But while he was thinking this, his feet were taking him step by step closer and closer to the dots in the distance, which in the meantime had become a speck and then began to show every sign of turning into a blob. And shortly after that, the blob became a figure. And then, as Bruno got even closer, he saw that the thing was neither a dot, nor a speck, nor a blob, nor a figure, but a person. In fact, it was a boy. Bruno had read enough books about explorers to know that one could never be sure what one was going to find. Most of the time, he came across something interesting that was just sitting there, minding its own business, waiting to be discovered, such as America. Other times, they discovered something that was probably best left alone, like a dead mouse at the back of a cupboard. The boy belonged to the first category. He was just sitting there, minding his own business, waiting to be discovered. Bruno slowed down when he saw the dot that became a speck, that became a blob, that became a figure, that became a boy. Although there was a fence separating them, he knew that you could never be too careful with strangers and it was always best to approach them with caution. So he continued to walk and before long they were facing each other. Hello, said Bruno. Hello, said the boy. Well... Yes, I would like to continue reading the book, but it's interesting, it keeps you hooked. Uh, and I also uh, like to know what is going on later, when the boy is going to find out what's been happening around him, the truth. Still, we've only read a small part of the book as a class, we would like to, I would like to go on and find out more about the book. My best part of the extract um, was the time in the book that it said other times they discovered something that was probably best left alone like a dead mouse at the back of a cupboard because it's quite funny, it had some humour in it and well it's true Maybe, I think maybe that Bruno will find out the truth through the boy, like they, maybe they'll sit down to chat and then maybe Bruno will ask what this place is all about and then the boy tells him the truth of everything. I think the boy might be a Jew in a concentration camp because well, it's said that he's wearing the same clothes as others inside the place. So maybe it's, he's a prisoner inside a concentration camp.